Hey guys, my name is Alex Vanover. In today's racing series, we're going to be talking about how to do Jacob's Ladders, what to be thinking about when approaching the Jacob's Ladder, what to do while you're in the Jacob's Ladder. We're going to cover the different types of Jacob's Ladders, whether you're going up a Jacob's Ladder or down a Jacob's Ladder, and all the tips and tricks in order for you to do it as fast as possible. All right guys, so there's a lot of things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing a Jacob's Ladder. First off, there's two different types of Jacob's Ladders. There's the Jacob's Ladder where you're going up the Jacob's Ladder, which is essentially where you start at the bottom of the tower and you spiral your way all the way up to the top. And then there's the other type of Jacob's Ladder where you're spiraling all the way down. So you start at the top and you spiral through gates and gates until you get to the bottom. Most Jacob's Ladders consist of anywhere from two to five gates, just depending on how crazy the track is that you have set up. But the techniques remain the same for all Jacob's Ladders, but there's a few different techniques that you want to do when going up and down a Jacob's Ladder. When you're entering a Jacob's Ladder, depending on the track, the first thing that you want to do is not enter it with too much speed, and you want to start planning out the very first turn when you enter the Jacob's Ladder. Essentially what I mean by that is if you enter the Jacob's Ladder too fast, when you make that first turn around the first gate, you're going to be blowing out that turn, and it's going to make lining up the next two turns a lot harder. Whereas, if you start the quad slowing down before you enter the Jacob's Ladder, and even start the turn beforehand, you can nicely hug whatever it's the pole or the gate on the Jacob's Ladder, and that'll set you up for the next few gates. When you're inside of the Jacob's Ladder, whether you're going up and down, it's very, very important to try and keep the side of the Jacob's Ladder in view. Now, one of the ways that you can do this is by increasing your camera tilt slightly. That'll allow you to do the Jacob's Ladder a little bit faster and being able to keep the Jacob's Ladder pole in sight as well. The whole goal with the Jacob's Ladder and the way to do it fast is to make sure that whatever side you're orbiting, whether it's to the left or to the right, you're keeping that side picture in line. And we're gonna show you some flight footage outside right now. We're gonna talk about a few more of these tips and tricks for you guys on how to do the Jacob's Ladder and show you some examples as well. Let's get outside and do it right now. All right, so let's talk about the Jacob's Ladder first. So this is the Jacob's Ladder I have set up here. So it's basically a flag, a gate, and then another gate. Now, the way some Jacob's Ladders are set up, as you can see right here, there are some guide wires. That's something you're gonna have to deal with and keep in mind. If you fly Jacob's Ladder too tight, you're gonna have to make one or two options. You're gonna have to either avoid the wires or go in between them. We're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna be doing the Jacob's Ladders in this direction where we don't have to worry about guide wires. Now on most tracks set up these days, when you enter a Jacob's Ladder, you're going to be entering it from some other type of element. And what I mean by that is you're not going to be entering it with a lot of speed. Typically, you're going to be doing what's called flowing into it. The other way that you go into a Jacob's Ladder is where you shoot across the course like this. And you have to slow the quad's momentum down and then enter the Jacob's Ladder. That's not a very fun way to do it. If your course is like that where you essentially have to go from a wide open straightaway into the Jacob's Ladder, you want to slow the quad down and start the turn before entering the Jacob's Ladder. That way you don't enter with a lot of momentum and you can hug the pole. If you don't do that, what's going to end up happening is you're going to blow out the first turn like this. And then you're fighting to get it close to the Jacob's Ladder after that. Essentially you're losing time. So what you want to do is if it's a long straightaway like this, you want to slow the quad down and start the turn before entering. And then when you're inside of the Jacob's Ladder, you want to focus on keeping the side of the ladder in view. So for example, right now I'm doing spirals, Jacob's Ladders up and down to the left, and I'm always trying to keep either the flag or the pole in my view. If you're not doing that, what ends up happening is they look kind of like big ovals like this, where you're blowing them out and you're having to realign every time. You want to try and keep it as tight as possible. When you're inside of the Jacob's Ladder, the way to do that is to maneuver the throttle back and forth as well as play a little bit with your roll and pitch. Your yaw's gonna stay about the same. And a good way to go out and practice them is set up a flag, set up a pole, something like this. It can be a power pole or anything. And just focus on spiraling down the pole. So let's show you guys in one more example here. We're gonna go down the Jacob's Ladder. Slow down into it. A Little bit of power to hug it. Just like that. If you guys get a little disorientated in the ladder, that's okay. You can correct. And all I'm doing inside these Jacob's Ladders is focusing on just little blips of power to keep myself hugging up against the pole. Little corrections aren't bad. Now the other type of Jacob's Ladder is where you go up the Jacob's Ladder. What you want to do there is the same technique. You want to start the turn beforehand. Now with these, you're kind of having to power up through it. It's going to require a little bit more power, a little bit more concentration while entering it. You want to start the turn beforehand. And if your camera's low like mine, where it's only 40 degrees, it's going to be a lot harder to see where you're going. Oh, there's a gate there. All right, so let's talk about going up the Jacob's Ladder again. 
When you're going up the Jacob's Ladder with not a lot of angle, as you can see right here. Well, maybe you can't see it because you're not watching my FPV feed. What you essentially want to do is you want to be powering up through the Jacob's Ladder. So all you're essentially doing is using a little bit more pitch back. And all I'm doing is focusing on the inside of the pole like so. So let's show you guys a fast one here. And essentially guys, that's how you do a Jacob slider. It's a really hard move or like others to explain. What you need to do is just go out and practice it. If you can't set up gates like this, go find a power line with a big power pole or some type of vertical structure that you can orbit around. Try entering it with a lot of speed and with not a lot of speed. And what you want to focus on is keeping that pole in line, making your entry speed and outro speed not too quick. That way you can keep nice, smooth and tight lines while you're doing it. And if you do those tricks, you should have no problem doing Jacob sliders. Go out and practice it, have fun, fly fast. Thank you guys so much for watching this tip trick here. Keep an eye out for the next ones coming out in the future. Be sure to check out the links in the description down below. All the gear used in this video can be found down there. And I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.